What's up my friends, welcome back to another video. And today we are taking a look at a new library from Sonoscore called Dark Horizon. So this is specifically a sound design based library, very similar to their previous sound design library called Elijah. And they also did an update to Elijah and I think it's called Elijah 2 where they have some other name to it. But if you're familiar with Sonoscore's The Orchestra Complete, then Elijah is essentially the sister library or brother library to that original orchestra library. And it's the sound design approach. So Dark Horizon in this case is kind of the next step in the Elijah series, but it's focusing on a darker, you know, more moody type of sound design with, um, with an approach that's similar to traditionally sampled instruments. Uh, really exciting stuff. We're gonna take a look at the general sounds today. I'll kind of show you the interface, what kind of what it comes with very simply. And uh, Sonoscore was also very kind to actually give away two free copies of this library. As you can see, it's a contact player library. We have it here. So you do not need the full version of contact for this. You can run the, the free contact player and load in this library and it works perfectly. So if you stick around for the giveaway at the very end, I'll share, share with you exactly how to enter that. Uh, but kind of let's dive in. So Dark Horizon, right? You see here we have the green uh, playable range here. We have the blue here. And so the blue part is kind of the general like highs, you know, where, where it's easier to play rhythmic stuff and it's very audibly uh, rhythmic. And the bottom here, you have kind of the lower end of the stuff. It's definitely deeper and darker. And so it's great to have that little flexibility there. Um, most importantly, th these rhythmic patterns are synced up to your host tempo. So whatever it is right now, mine is at 120. Uh, it will follow your DAW tempo and you can shift it up. You can automate the DAW tempo and the system will follow along automatically. So let's play a little bit. First of all, we have floating energy. We're just gonna play a couple things here. We'll layer up a couple chords and then see how this works. All right, so obviously there's some filtering stuff going on with the mod wheel and it's nice to have the interface, you know, as well. But you can see the, ar the ARPs here, right? The arpeggiators are uh, doing subtle things as we shift up and down the mod wheel. And this is affecting like EQs. There's some um, distortion and stuff going on there. Uh, you know, you can see the, those kind of moving around. I'm not the most technical when it comes to this sort of thing. I just go with what sounds good to me, but it's nice that you can actually automate the modulation so that you can affect the sound as you're performing it in real time. Uh, so that's floating energy. Let's go with another one. By the way, here you have uh, different categories, right? So rhythmic pulses, you have uh, mono arpeggios. Let's go with some playable sounds actually. So let's go with underwater monster. And this one I'm expecting to have, you know, a, a darker sound to it, probably not too bright. Let's see. So that one kind of has a legato feature to it. Uh, let's see, let's go with another one. Woofer <laughs> feedback. All right, let's see. Do one more here. Black hole seems interesting. All 
All right, so all of these seem to be kind of legato-ish uh, functionality, you know. So it's not polyphonic, but you can certainly play interesting lines there. Then you can also influence them by character, right? You can choose uh, with all these different categories. Let's actually maybe go out of that. Maybe I just want a 3-4 sample and I want something that's more energetic. So then I have these two options, high voltage or core meltdown. Let's see what high voltage actually sounds like. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of stuff going on there. <clears throat> and the mod wheel is not just affecting the filters, but of course the overall volume as well. Uh, so yeah, very easy to select different sounds based on the sound you're looking for or hearing in your head. Uh, very straightforward interface there. Maybe let's try a couple more here. So uh, let's go with poly animations. Maybe I want a 4-4 one this time. Uh, let's go with warm. And so maybe we can find, let's see, monster steps. Let's see how that sounds. It always takes a second for the real the new samples to load in here. So just give it give give the, the system maybe like five seconds and then you can go ahead. Yeah, and let's say maybe you don't like the combination of these different sounds. So you can always mute or solo uh, different sounds here. So if I think if you press the the um, the pink, then basically it unloads that or it mutes that sound essentially. So you can see now it's grayed out. So now you will only hear the oil burner and the D fundamental sound. But if we put that back in, then you get the unstable satellite. Maybe we just want to solo. So you click the blue and then you just hear that sound. And of course, within that, so right now the unstable satellite is set to the third slot, right? So you can go click on the third slot, and then you can always um, influence these patterns specifically if you want to. You know, um, that's always cool too. And yeah, you can change the time signature, you can play around with the, uh, you know, the, the different velocities and everything, the amount of steps there are so on and so forth. So a relatively flexible library, very, very similar to Elijah, if not identical in terms of the functionality and the way it works. But if you're looking for, you know, just a library that has basic sound design functionalities, but has a really interesting rhythmic engine and allows you to play multiple notes at the same time without having to worry about um, quantizing, because this library actually allows you to play notes at the same time or having them slightly off time, uh, but still lines up the notes together, then this is a great option for you, I think. You know, the Elijah library is, of course, a more comprehensive library. This one is a little bit more niche, but if you're looking for that moody, dark type of texture, then this is certainly uh, worth looking into, you know? So keep in mind, this is a sound design library. This is not an orchestral library. You're not going to find, you know, uh, I don't know, strings, woodwinds, breast, percussion, this. But if you are looking for something like that and you still want the Sonus score design and interface, then the Orchestra Complete 2 is probably the best one to look at in this case. But yeah, for, for sound design stuff, this is probably um, you know a great one to find if you're looking for this type of mood and the type of sound. So thank you so much for checking this out. Um, love to hear your thoughts in the comment below uh, regarding you, you know whether you would personally use this library um, the, the vibes you're getting from it, you know, what kind of situations you could see yourself using this library for. And uh, speaking of, you know, utilization of that, let's talk about the giveaway. Because again, Sonic Score is giving away two copies of the library. Uh, they partnered up with Best Service uh, to do that. And so uh, big thanks to them. But in order to enter the giveaway, just have to do three very simple things. Number one, make sure you're subscribed to my email list by filling out the form below. Um, this is where I'm going to notify you of the winners. I don't share this publicly, but uh, you know, I, I basically notify the winners through email. And also I send you exclusive free content every single week to help you with compositions and mock-ups. So definitely make sure you're signed up and subscribed. And uh, number two, make sure you leave a comment in this video, letting me know what you would use the library for and you know, the type of music that you would use with it. 
And uh, number three, just make sure you leave a like on the video. Um, it always helps the channel, really do appreciate that. And um, it's just a great way to let the channel continue doing its thing and help me along the way. Um, I really do appreciate it. So anyway, make sure you follow those three steps to enter the giveaway. Thank you so much again. I'll catch you in the next video and take care my friend. Bye-bye.